parts of Florida's western coast will be inundated under 10 to as many as 15 feet of storm surge heading into tomorrow night going into Thursday morning. But let's talk exactly about what exactly storm surge is because a lot of folks don't quite understand how this works. So let's talk about a normal sea level. Let's say that this green line right here is the average height of sea level and let's say the western shore of Florida is 10 feet above sea level. When you get a hurricane, you have lots of wind. That wind is pushing a big volume of water. So in this case, if we're looking at 6 to 12 feet, in some cases, maybe even 15 feet of storm surge, that is taking that average normal sea level and increasing it 12 to 15 feet. The storm surge doesn't even include the actual waves created from the wind. So the actual sea level height is higher by about 12 to 15 feet. On top of that, you get what we call these wind driven waves, which can add another three to six feet. So this will create a lot of devastation for Florida's western coast heading into the next couple of days.